Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive notebook, a digital interactive notebook. I'm going to walk you through it step by step so that there is no confusion. When you're done, you're going to have a notebook that looks very similar to what's shown here up on the screen, where I can have this notebook cover here. And notice that if I go to highlight it, I can't, I can't move it. I can't edit this. If I go to click on this tab that says Daily Agendas, notice it takes me to the Daily Agendas. If I select on this tab that says Table of Contents, it'll take me to the Table of Contents. If I scroll down a little bit, close my book, it closes my book. So this is what you're going to be creating is this product, which is the digital interactive notebook. And it looks complicated, but it's very simple, actually. Now, the first time I ever saw one of these, I was thinking, that looks kind of cool. It looks a little bit complicated and difficult. And it's only difficult if you don't know how to do it. But I will show you step by step how to do it. So let's get started. All right, what I'd like you to do first thing is go to your Google Drive for this class. If you have a folder, but go to Google Drive. And if you store, organize your information by period, then go ahead and open up the file for the period that you're doing this for. Then open new, hit this button over here that says new, you're going to create a new Google Slides. So click on this button over here in case you catch that. This button that says new up in the upper left corner. And open up a Google Slides file. Create a new file, a blank new one. All right, so I'm going to ask you just to follow along on your copy with everything that I'm doing here. First thing to do is give it a name. Give this title Put the name of your notebook. So put your name, first and last name. And also type in science notebook. There we go, we get this. Science notebook, so it has a title. All right. Notice how the, the page layout is sort of on a landscape. So the page layout is kind of like this right now. We want the page layout to be portrait. So we're going to change the dimensions on that. So to do that, over here where my mouse is at, on the menu, open up File, click on File. And scroll down if you don't see it most of your screens will need to have you scroll down go to the bottom area where it says page setup so open up page setup and change this drop down triangle open that up change it to custom and we're going to make this 8.5 by 11. That's the standard measurement for these pages. So if you print any of these pages, they're going to be standardized for portrait already. And then leave the unit as inches, then hit apply. All right, so you notice in there on the screen now that this has been changed to portrait. Now, this is the part that's a little bit confusing to some students, and it was confusing to me, and that is in this Google Slides, there's two parts. There's your file, and then there's the templates. So what I'm going to do is look over here on the, the toolbar, go over to Slide, click on Slide, and drop down to Edit Theme. Edit Theme. This used to be called Master uh, some time ago, but it got changed. So we're going to edit the theme. Click on that. And notice how the screen now turns all black in the background. So whenever you see it in that mode, you know you're in the theme editor. Well, over here where my mouse is at, if I click anywhere over here in this white space, or if I click on this X to X this out, it's going to close out the editor for the theme editor, and it's going to take me back to my document. I'm going to do that right now just to show you. So if you accidentally do this, like, oh, what happened? Everything just disappeared. 
then you just go back to slide, drop down to theme, edit theme, and then you just open it up and it takes you right back there. All right, so I want to create a cover. The first thing I want to do is create a cover. So scroll this down a little bit to where it says layouts. And actually, just to make our job a little bit easier, I'm going to delete pretty much all of these here and start fresh. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do that just, just to make things a little bit cleaner, a little bit more organized looking. So I'm clicking on that slide. I'm going to hit the backspace button, and that deletes it. And then I'm going to keep deleting it until I get down to just one page. Now, again, you don't have to do this part. I'm going to do that just to make things a little bit cleaner and more organized looking. I wonder if we can delete that. Nope, that's as far as I can go for deleting it. All right, so what I'm going to do is if I click over here, it's it won't let me edit that text at all. It won't even let me delete it, but I can delete the box. So if I click on the box, the edge of the box right there where my mouse is at, uh, it, it will delete. If you're having a hard time because yours is being a little finicky, then you can come over here where the plus button is, click on the plus button, and it should give you a, a new page. But it's going to have something there similar to like the last one. All right. So let's come back here. Delete that for now. Again, you didn't have to do all of that. I just did that just to make it so it's cleaner and easier, more organized. Okay, so I'm going to click on... Now, don't... This is a don't. Don't click on this. Ignore that. Leave that theme just the way it is. Leave that big one, this, this large square. Don't mess with that one. Click on this one here, the smaller box that says layouts. Click on that. All right, now we're going to go over to open up a new tab up on the top here, and I'm going to go to Google Images. And I'm going to open up Google Images, and I'm going to type in notebook cover. And all of these images are options that I can use for right now. We're just going to not waste any time and do anything fancy. We're just going to pick a basic cover, a basic cover. So you can type in composition notebook or spiral bound notebook cover, but just get a basic cover for now. So I'm going to put down spiral notebook cover. I like spiral notebooks, but you pick whatever you like. But we're just going to do this as a basic one for now. So I'm going to click on this one here. You pick on any one that you like. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to right click actually, right click on it. And copy image. So let me do that again in case you didn't see it because that little face was in the way. So right click on it and then hit copy image. Now what we're going to do is come back to my blank document, which is my notebook cover that I'm working on. I'm going to click on this blank white page here, click anywhere on it, and then I'm going to right click on it to paste. Or you can use the quick key, the command keys, control V, if you have that. And notice it puts my notebook cover there. So I'm going to move that down. I'm going to crop that just a little bit. And then just expand that to the rest of the page once you're done with that. So now I'm going to stretch this out and expand it out. Don't worry about perfect because you're going to be moving this around and doing different stuff periodically. So, All right, so I just put a notebook cover there. And the next thing I want to do is put a name on it and a title and some information. So I'm going to click on this text box over here. So click on the text box. And I want you to type your first and last name. And it's probably going to be very small font to begin with. So we could just change that font size real quick. Let's make it very, very large font. Probably, let's go with like 30. 30 or bigger, but not too much bigger. 
Um, let's put first off, it's eighth grade science notebook. Science notebook. And then eighth grade. There we go. And then below your name, please put my name or the name of your teacher. Paris Middle School. And let's put the year. This is the 2021-22 school year. And I want to center all that. So I'm going to hit Control A to highlight everything there. And then I'm going to come up here to look for my My button that will let me center it. Align. There we go. There's my center it. And I can center it that way too. All right. I want it to stand out a little bit more on the cover. So I'm going to fill this in with some paint. Go to the paint can. And then let's just go white for right now because it'll stand out a little bit more. Just so it looks like a little bit of a label. All right. So that's pretty basic. Um, you can also outline it, make it stand out a little bit darker. So you see how it's now outlined a little bit, but don't spend too much time. So do, because we're going to do a custom cover later, this is just for the basic cover for right now. All right, one of the things I want you to be able to recognize now is I'm going to get out of this mode and I'm going to go into my actual file. So notice again how everything here is in black on the screen. In the background, I'm going to click my mouse over here, and it's going to disappear. So it's a call gone now. So I'm no longer in the editor mode for the theme. The mode I'm now in is my just my normal file mode, and this is the the file mode that most of all of us are used to. Now, what I want you to see is, and I want you to try this. So make sure you're following along with me here. Is take your mouse now, click on the name anywhere, and try to edit that. Try to move that. Notice it. You can't do that. I can't even move the picture. So you can't accidentally mess this up when it's in this mode right here. And that's the nice thing about creating a template. So if I was to take a text box right now, or let me just take an object actually, just to show you this part, you don't need to do this part. Put an object right here. Let's make it stand out a little bit. So here, that's this object, this just stuck on there. That I can move around, but notice I can't move, I can't move any of this. And that is the nature of creating a, a template. So let me get rid of this here. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into the editor mode. So now you're done with the cover. The next thing to do is to create some paper for your notebook. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go over back to the editor. So go to slide in the menu here, drop down to theme, uh, edit theme, open that up. Now we're gonna create a page for the paper. Remember, remember, don't do anything with this. Like don't touch that, leave that alone. Come over here, just click off of that, to the plus button, hit a plus button. So now I have a new, a new paper template I'm gonna create. So I'm gonna highlight this, I'm gonna delete, click on the edge, otherwise it's gonna be difficult to delete. Now I'm going to go back to the Google Images and I'm going to get some notebook paper. All right, so I'm back in Google Images and then just type in some notebook paper. There we go, notebook paper. Again, it doesn't have to be fancy, but later on if you want grid paper, you can find some grid paper um, because I have a spiral bound notebook. I'm going to go with a spiral bound notebook paper, but pick any paper here that works for you. So I'll go with this one. This looks spiral bound. Oh, that's kind of, yeah, that works for me. So again, pick some cover, uh, some paper that you like. Actually, I'm not sure what those are. So that's a little distracting. Let me uh, find some spiral bound notebook paper. Spiral bound notebook paper. There we go. I'm going to use this one here. All right, so I'm going to right click on this. Oh, it's got the little watermarks. So I'm going to ignore that one. Let's pick a different one. 
this is licensable. I'm going to right click on this one and copy this image. Go back to your notebook and click on the blank page, control V, or you can use the right click on this and it'll paste your paper. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to resize this a little bit. Actually, I'm going to crop off that bottom part. There we go. And then just expand it out to match the whole. There we go. All right, so we have some notebook paper. Now, what I want to do here is I'm going to create. Next is I need to create some some tabs for my notebook. So let's go back to the cover. And you can put the tabs along the top or the side. I'll even accept the bottom, but don't do the bottom unless you really, really need to for whatever reason, just because it's a, it's not where we normally look for for tabs. So tabs along the top or along the side here. So come up to your menu space and click on shapes the shapes button right here it's got the little circle it's got the little square it says shape when you hover over that click on that in the toolbar and pick a button that you like that's for a good for a tab so people pick squares i'm going to pick this one that's like a it's got a little rounded side to it and i'm going to put the tabs off onto the right hand side because <clears throat> i like tabs right there and I'm going to ask you to create a total of five tabs, five tabs. So now that you have it highlighted, hit Control C, copy, and then Control V is in Victor to paste. Control V. So one, two, three, four. I think that's more than I need. And you just move them around. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that'll work. So I'm moving these tab buttons out of the way so I can organize them a little bit. Actually, to make them rounded, and I should have probably done it like that so that the top is rounded. Here are the, the sides are rounded. So let me just do that again. If this takes you a little bit because you're learning, that's totally fine because that's the process of learning. So I want a total of five tabs and I already have one. So I'm going to control C, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to hit control V on my keyboard. So I want five. So let's do this four more times. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I have five. I need to rotate those because I'm going to put my tabs on the side. Probably should edit this part out. I'm going to save my myself some time. I'm going to delete those ones and copy the one that's already on its side just to save myself a little bit of time. All right. Again, control C is in copy. You know, I'm going to need to resize it a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to copy that. Control C. And then one, two, three, four. Now I have a total of five. All right. Make sure you pause the video to take a break when your brain starts to get a little tired here. All right, I'm gonna have the tab stick out just a little bit over the edge there. <clears throat> and notice that if you wanna get it perfectly aligned, that there's like a little red bar that shows you when they're aligned with each other. You can sp put space in between your buttons if you want to, or you can keep them all flush together if you want to. So notice I have one, two, three, four, and five buttons. All right. I want my buttons to be alternating colors. You can decide what colors you want them to be, but do alternate at least two different colors. You can use all colors different. So come over to the color fill, and I'm going to make my first uh, tab. I'll make it orange because my um, my cover here is yellow, so I'm going to just make it so it's different. I'm going to go with the light blue, and then I'll go with a, a really light orange. And then I'll, I'll just alternate them. I'll make mine a, oh, let's go with a light green. And then I'll leave that last one gray. That'll work. All right, so now you've got some buttons. Pause the video if you're not done yet. 
Now I want to type some names on these tabs. So I'm going to click on that tab. I'm going to double click inside of it. And I'm going to type table of contents. Table of contents. I'm going to change that font size a little bit because that's a little bit too small for me to see. There we go. Table of contents. And then I'm going to copy that. I'm going to change the name, double click inside of this box. And I'm going to control A to highlight all of, oops, <laughs> double click inside the button, click off of that. Okay, now I'm inside the button. I'm highlighting everything. I'm going to change now the button or tab number two. I'm going to put that tab as um, do nows. So do nows. And then do the same with this one, double click in there. And then I change that to daily agenda. Hit enter, all done, go to the next one. And this one is going to be geo earth, or no, sorry. Geo history, but we're going to abbreviate history, H I S T for now. Geo hist. And this one, let's change that to just blank for now. For now, it's just going to be blank. We'll put some more stuff into that one later. Okay, congratulations. You are almost done and you're making great progress. So we have a cover and we have tabs for our notebook. Now what happens is I'm going to click out of this and we're going to go to the actual file, um, your actual notebook. Now I'm going to click over here on this white space. I notice my editor disappeared. Now if I go to this over here, click on the screen, notice I can't move any of these boxes. Can't do any of that like I was doing earlier. Again, because I did that in the template mode in the editor, uh, the template editor or actually it's called the theme editor, but now notice I can't do that. But it also doesn't, it doesn't take me anywhere if I click on them, so it's not linked. So now what I need to do is create some links for those. So I'm gonna go back to slide. Oh, real quick, I one step ahead of myself. I need to create some pages here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over here because we have to have some pages to link to, so I can't create links to something that doesn't exist yet. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some pages. I'm gonna add one page for each of these tabs for right now. You can add more later, but for now we're gonna add just one page for each tab. So I have one, two, three, four, five tabs. So now I'm gonna add five pages. Go over here to where the plus button is, and just to the right of that, there's a little drop-down triangle. Click on the drop-down triangle, and you should see on yours, you have an option to do another cover, or you're going to select the one that says layout, and it's got the blank white paper here. So I click that. Now I have some white paper. And notice if I click on it, I can't move that paper around. It's fixed. And again, that's because it's a template. And then click on over here in the sidebar area. Click on this slide number two. I want you to hit, hold down the control button and the letter M, M is in Michael. And see, so everybody got one, so I want to do four more. So one, two, three, four more. So do that so it adds up to a total of six slides for now. So you should be up to six slides. So count those. There we go. All right, we're going to link to those pages right now. And, uh, so let's go to slide, go to edit theme. Hopefully you're getting comfortable with this by now and you're discovering that this is not hard at all. This is actually pretty easy. And you're learning a skill. You can build notebooks in the future once you know how to do this. Or eBooks. Some of you are gonna write eBooks and get some royalty money from that. Okay, so in the editor, you'll notice over here, um, I only have one, just one of those pages. That's because this one template controls all of those. So just so you can see, I'm going to grab this. Don't do this part right here. This is just for your visual uh, understanding of how this kind of works. 
I'm going to make this just so you can see it. Now notice what just happened. I moved this in the template and over here on my left of the screen, it's being shown on all of those pages. If I move it over here, if I move it over there, it's being shown on all of those pages. And if I was to click over here, notice I can't move that. It won't move because it's part of the template. So hopefully now you're starting to understand, oh, that's what a template is, which is really cool. Usually my students like pretty impressed, like, oh, I didn't know you can do that. That's why I'm here to teach you this. All right, so I'm going to go back to the slide and go back to the edit theme, which I call it the theme editor, edit theme. All right, I'm going to delete that because I don't need it. What I do want is to put tabs. So I'm going to put tabs all up and down on the side of this. So I'm going to go to my cover, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to move my notebook cover out of the way a little bit because this is going to make my job easier. So I'm going to move my cover over a little bit, take my mouse cursor, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of my buttons. Oops, I'm one step ahead of myself again. That's okay. It doesn't matter because I have to link them. So I have to link them first. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click inside that. I'm gonna double click in there. I'm gonna hit control A. So I, I'm gonna highlight all of the text inside of the box. Now I'm gonna use my control button. So I'm gonna hit control K as in kryptonite. You could right click, it's up to you. Control K as in kryptonite. And this is going to pop up. What I want to do is I'm going to scroll down. You might need to scroll down yours as well. And actually, you will need to scroll down a little bit. Let's try that again. Control K. There we go. Right here where it says slides in this presentation, click that. Again, if you don't see it, it'd be on the very bottom. It'll say slides in this presentation. Click on that. All right, we're going to select from a slide in our presentation. So over here, I want to link this button to tab number two, or this tab to this page, slide number two. So I'm going to click on slide number two. And that's it. So I just linked this button to this page. I'm going to do the same thing for all of these, but I'm going to go for the rest of the pages in that order. So now highlight the whole text. You could highlight the box itself, but it's just better if you highlight the text for right now. And then control K, or you could, oops, control Z to undo what I just did. Nope. Try that again. Double click in there. You could also right click on this and then go to, where is the quick key? Is there a quick key on this one? Let me move this over and see. Right here where it says link. Notice it says control K, control K, and that works also. And again, slide down to the bottom. So it's not showing on my screen. So if it doesn't show on your screen, um, and just adjust your window a little bit. I have to adjust, I'm gonna hit control negative so I can make my window or control positive and see. I need to be able to see bottom. There we go. See right here. You should be able to see it on my screen because I'm recording that. Slides in this presentation. So you can know, click on that. I'm gonna, now I want to put it on to slide number three. So I click slide number three. So I just linked it. That one got linked. So I just continue. This one's going to be the slide number four. Control K. Now here's something that should also work. If you type in slide four, that should also work. Geohistory, control A, control K. You wanna to go to slide five. And this one's gonna be a blank slide, control K. Presentation, slide six. All right, so now you should be done with that. So click off of it. And I'm just gonna test to make sure these links work first before I put them on my other pages. 
So now I'm going to click over here. This part, do follow along with me. Continue to follow along. So you should be as far as I am right now. So I'm going to click over here on my presentation, as it's called. But I'm calling it my notebook. So I click on that. The editor disappears. Now this, the first tab, take a text box. We're going to give it a title here. And this title is Table of Contents. Let's make that bigger. Let's go to like, uh, I guess like 36 or 7, something in that, in that range here. So this one, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to get this one. The title also. And I'm going to change the name of this one to Do Nows. And then go, just follow along with me. What I did is I just copied earlier, obviously, the table contents box, just so I don't have to keep doing a new text box. But you could do that too, just create a new text box each time. Um, this one is now going to be daily agenda. Five. Inside the box, I hit Control A to highlight everything. And this one is going to be Geo or, yeah. Full name since we can Geological History. Geological History of Earth. This is going to get the full title because we can't fit all this on the tab. So geohistory is what we abbreviated it down to, or geohist. So geological history of Earth. All right, you'll notice, because I'm doing the work here, I can move this around in this mode right here. But notice I can't move the paper around because that was done in the template. All right, so all of these names you can move around still because you did it in this mode over here. Okay, now let's go to the template mode. So I'm going to go to the slide, go to edit theme, and now I'm going to take those tabs, which are linked. You know what, real quick, let me go test those, make sure they're working first. So test yours also. So I'm going to click out of this mode real quick. I'm going to put this in the slideshow. So over here where my mouse is in the upper toolbar area, the right slideshow, click on slideshow. And we're going to test your links. So go to the very beginning. If you need to tab up, you can tab up with your buttons. Now I'm going to test these. So I'm going to click on the geo. Don't go in sequential order because if you your links are kind of messed up, it could still work and you're going to be, or it looks like it's going to work, but uh, go out of order. We're going to see if it works. All right, so click on Geohistory first and see if it takes you there. And it does. And then use your little up arrows to go back. Click on Daily Agenda, and it does. And you use your up arrows to go back. Little contents, there it goes. Click on blank, <laughs> that's blank. Then again, use your up arrows. And I think I didn't test Daily Agenda yet. Daily Agenda. Okay, so all my tabs are working. I'm gonna Escape, hit Escape to get out of this. All right, so my links are all working. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those links and put them on the the papers. But I'm not going to do it here, right, because I don't want to accidentally move my tabs when I'm using my notebook. So I need to do this in the editor mode. So go back to Edit Theme. Click on your cover. Now this is where I want to copy all my tab buttons. So I'm going to do that right now. That's why I moved this cover out of the way, because it's easier to grab these and highlight them. So I'm going to take my mouse, just somewhere near this button here. I'm going to just click it and then just drag and then completely make a rectangle over all of those and then just let go. Oops, not quite. Let's try it again. So click next to it, make a triangle and drop it over the over all of the tabs there. And notice that they're all highlighted now. Now I'm going to hit Control C. Again, I'm going to copy this. Control C is in copy over here down on the paper, click on the page somewhere and hit control V, V is in Victor. And there we go.
And you can move those up and down. Now, what do you notice? Look over here on the left-hand side. You just added tabs to all of your pages. So that's one of the really nice features. <clears throat> With this one template, I can control hundreds or thousands of pages uh, to edit at the same time. I'm going to rename this. Click on this Rename button right here. And I'm going to call this page just the uh, link page with tabs. With linked tabs. <laughs> you don't have to name yours that, but I'm going to just, as I do these, I'll know what this template is when I go to use it later on. All right, now I'm going to click back over here on my cover. Almost done. So I could get on to the next thing. Grade some papers now. Okay, so I just moved my cover back. We'll worry about making this cover pretty later on. Now I should have a finished product and you can get full credit. So I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna test out the whole thing. All right, so I'm out of the mode. Now go over here to slideshow because this is what I want you to show me that it works. All right, oh, you know what? There's one other thing I forgot, Ugh, but it's a fast click. All right, last thing and I'll be ready to, to be done with this. Go back to edit theme. And this is where you're gonna really appreciate. You just have to do one little adjustment to make it all work. Uh, we're gonna put a, a closed book. We're gonna close your notebook button. So come up here to shapes and grab any shape that you want that you can type into. Um, let's see. I'll go with this one, a right arrow. You can use whatever you want. I'm just going to go with this. Uh, maybe not that one. Some people like using the arrows. Use it. This is to close, to close your notebook. Um, okay, I'll do this one here. Um, Okay, I'll just go with this as a blank box. <laughs> but you can pick a shape that you'd like. Oh, I picked a stop sign last time, I think. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick a stop sign. Go to shape. And there's a stop sign right there. And I'll shrink it down a little bit later. I'm going to click inside of it. I'm going to put close book. You don't have to make the text really big because you're going to kind of make it small. I'm going to turn it red so it stands out a little bit. Um, and make yours a form of red or red, one of the two. So let's go with the bright red. All right, that stands out a little bit more. And then just shrink it a little bit so it's not too big. I'm just going to put close. <laughs> you don't need to have the word notebook in there. Just close. And then I'm going to move this down. Notice over here on the left-hand side of the screen, every time I edit that, you guys already know how that works. Good. And I'm just going to put that down, put it down the, the lower corner somewhere, the left or the right corner. It's up to you, but just so it's down somewhere out of the way. Even if it's slightly off the page, that's totally okay. Next thing I need to do now is I need to link that to the cover. So now double-click inside and Control-K. And we're going to select slides with this and then this presentation. It's going to be slide number one. So select slide number one or type slide number one. And that's done. Slide number one is my cover. So now I'm going to test the whole thing. So let's test the whole thing here, make sure it works. So click out of this mode, click anywhere over here on the left. Whew. Almost done. Now we're going to test it. This is how you're going to know if you get full credit. Click on Slideshow. And then I'm going to say, show me, click on Geo History. You click on Geo History. There it goes. Click on Do Nows. There it goes. Click on Daily Agendas. Click on the blank slide. Click on Table of Contents. Click on Daily Agenda. And now hit Close. Come down here. And there you go. Full credit. Good job, you guys. You're all done. Congratulations.